Good evening and welcome back to Season 4, Episode 3 of Cricket Captain 2023. And I will take a quick look at the table. We've only played two games, won the first, no, lost the first, won the second uh, in quite a dramatic fashion. But you can see we're not doing so great on the batting points. Only two batting points from an available 8, 10, 353, 354, 5, 10. Two points from 10. Not enough. It's not enough in my book. And uh, we're going we're gonna to have to try and improve that today as we play against Somerset, who have only gone in, well, actually, a lot. Basically, everyone, actually. Everyone except Glamorgan has managed to grab all the available bowling points. So maybe, maybe it's something to do with the pitches. Maybe it's the, the, the year we're in or something, but yeah, bowling seems to be the way forward. Okay, now we're going to have a look at, look at what we're doing here. What are we doing here? What are the conditions looking like? It looks like it will be spinning as we come into the later, later days. So let's get Callie out. Take a look. about gates gates is a bit high on the old we could play benkenstein or benkenstein also supposedly an all-rounder so we could bat a little bit deeper um travis heads played two games and hasn't really fired uh bavoom has only played one game but same again really hasn't really fired Mm, this is a tough one. I think I'm gonna give head I'm gonna give Travis Head another chance just to see if that form could improve. Dan Lawrence with that low form could use some time and actually you know what that's what we're gonna do. Rest is gonna come in. I'm gonna move Wesley up to three and let's see if Bavuma can get a little bit of time in the second team just to see if we can improve that form a little bit. Bolland's actually doing all right. Got Cook bowling, two spinners, Wokesy and Walter. Yeah, I don't mind it. Richard's actually Richard could. No, okay, that's what we're going to go with. We're going to see how we fare. Um, let's. Okay, we're going to bowl first. I was I was about to try and see if I wanted to make a decision. But there's no real decision to be made if um, Somerset are going to go straight in and bat. So, there we go. Yep, Cook can have the first over. We'll go chances only and we'll see how we fare. First over goes to three runs, not bad. And Wokesy will try and do the same thing. And we'll give ourselves maybe three overs each bowler see how they fare just on the regular tactics nothing so far so let's go aggressive on laman b for a little bit that's 10 overs done not really working okay we're going to change it up. We're going to bring on Paul Walter just to change it up. See what we can do differently here. Bowl in a different line. I don't mind pushing it across Miller. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I do. And we'll go back to the regular aggression. Don't really need to be going silly aggressive here. Oh, here we go. Here's a chance. The spin on might be the answer. And it is indeed. Benkenstein takes the catch. And it brings in Tom Banton, actually, who is aggressive. So we want to be, see if Paul Walter can correct after just a bit too. Ah, look at that. 13. That's way too high. Palmer with another chance here. Straight. Oh, stumped him. Rossington gets the stumping. And finish up the over there. 
Going to give Walter one more chance. And that was clearly the right idea. Wow. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can go aggressive on Goldsworthy here. Just with Paul Walter. Um, just to see if we, if, if we can keep the pressure on. Armour to jot in. Why though it's in the air, that's not really been hit firmly, and Travis Head snaffles the catch quite easily. Um, very defensive front foot leg side, okay. So that's fine. Let's go aggressive like that, and then it'll swap round. I like that tactic. Paul Walter going aggressive against Goldsworthy, Armour going aggressive against Rue. They're the matchups we're talking about, but Oh, is that an edge? No, nothing there. But a chance again. Harmer on Goldsworthy. Not actually... Oh, that's um, annoying. Not actually... Yeah, six of that doesn't really... Wasn't really deserved. But let's keep going. Paul Walter might have to change. But he has dragged that economy down in, a, in really good fashion. So let's try a bit of spin from both ends. Just before the break. 94 for 4. If we could get him for 5. Just before the break. Oh it's a no ball. And a dropped catch anyway. So. <laughs> it went wrong. A, a few different ways there. Well that's in the air. We've got Fielder in the deep. We do. And Walter takes the catch. Wow. 27 balls for 1 run for Rue. That's. Uh, really quite. Quite defensive. Will Smith, what is Smead doing batting this far down the list? But in a number seven, that's a uh, something else. Didn't did not expect that. I won't lie. Um, yeah, we don't need to be going hyper aggressive on Will Smead. Um, only a few overs left. Let's see if we can grab Goldsworthy. No, okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, the pitch is doing okay. 123 for 5. We're doing okay. We are doing okay. They're changing it up a lot. I know. But we're doing okay. Hey, okay, Goldsworthy getting some runs because we've gone aggressive. So let's bring it back just to a slightly more standard kind of tactic. There we go. That's calming it down a bit. Still going aggressive with Harmer because Harmer's getting wickets quite, quite, well, quite easily, quite for fun, really. And here we go. It could be another one. We're tied up one end. And there we go. Benkenstein takes another catch. Look at that. Oh, no, sorry. There it is. Two catches for Harmer and a wicket for himself. Harmer getting wickets at the other end. Walter getting a wicket as well. This is going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Walter's obviously conceded a few runs, but we we're not we're not bad about it. We're not we're not mad about it. Okay. Cook can change out for Wokesy now. Just to try and keep everyone fit and fresh. Yeah, that's okay. That's gone for a few. The economy is really not that bad. Let's swap in Benkenstein now. Yes, it's really not that bad. Wokesy now will change out for water again. And maybe that will be the change we needed. They've gone up. Umpires said no. Fair enough. Okay, oh, and then a few runs for Benkenstein. Water again to Harris. And this time, Benkenstein <laughs> takes another catch. Wow be finding yourself in, uh, in so many good positions on the field we are leaking a few runs here goldsworthy's having a bit more fun with it Can we finally get him water not quite oh there we go another chance this time bankersting the bowler Oh, we've gone up. And it's been given. Wow, there must have been an edge. Overton is gone. 
I'm going to go aggressive on Kelly. See if we can get Kelly early on here. Same over this. Same over. Oh, I think that's going down leg. Yeah, it is. was going down leg. Good appeal, but nothing doing. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Okay, we've made it to the end of the session. We've already got um, two bowling points. We need two more uh, wickets to get the to get the rest of them. Let's bring back the pace and see what we can do. I don't or oh, oh, Walters. bad it's not bad at all here there we go bold goldsworthy good innings though you can't really can't really give him a send-off after he smacked the only real contribution for his team of 127 and again let's just go aggressive water to kelly and that'll be that there we go 286 runs, only five bowlers used. Quite, you know, shared the overs around. Harmer and Walter got quite a few. Um, ben Kinstein, a little bit more expensive. But that is to be expected. To be fair, that is to be expected. Let's take a look at the other games. Yorkshire batting well. Lamorgan also doing, doing a Doing the business, not bad. Two six five for five. Um, Warwickshire one eight seven for five. Probably want a little bit more. Um, yeah, and that's the other Division One game. So it's our turn. Here we go. First over, two runs from it. Exactly what we were after. The nice easy start, and there we go. The first boundary and only the second over for Bell Drummond. Really nice stuff. And hopefully Brown can get in on the action as well. Brilliant stuff. 16 already. 19 will make 20. Let's see where we are after 10 overs. Oh, that's good bounce. 10 overs. We're not doing too bad. We're both batsmen are on their way to being settled. And well, Drummond doesn't seem too, too mad about it. Even more settled now. So we've got 20 minutes to see if we can take a few liberties with Bell Drummond. Try and grab a few boundaries just before the, the end of the day. Which would be quite demoralizing for Somerset. You know, if you were, if you were able to like smack, I don't know, 12 minutes left. If we got to 70, for example, already a good chunk of the Somerset lead kind of already taken care of you know that's a great shot really step back and smack it well it's a good shot when you nail it it's not a great shot if you uh if you if you miss a straight one 60 for north really nice start to this innings really really nice i um, got a bit more aggressive a bit earlier uh in the hope that we don't then we don't then regret Regret it later on, you know. Even then, even then. Oh, that's a misfield. Even then, that's twenty overs, and we're we're still only going at three point five on the on the run rate. You know, it's not, it's not crazy. We'll we'll have to improve a little bit because uh, otherwise we we'll, we won't get won't get the full complements of batting points, but. Oh, that's a, uh, not sure about that single. Okay, we got away. We got home. And that's going to be four runs. Yeah. And oh, the reason we got that single is because it was Bell Drummond's 50 already. No extras. Look at that. No extras. That is quite good from uh, the Somerset Bowlers. No extras at all. And fielding. No, you know, no buys, no leg buys. No, nothing. There we go. There's the first wide. As soon as I start talking about it, <laughs> I do feel a bit bad. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's part of the game, unfortunately. And there we go. 96 for North. 
that hundred opening stand would be very nice. No, why do I say it? Why do I talk? Why do I even speak? And I've only just now realized that I didn't even bother to give Tom Wesley a few overs just to turn his arm over. We could have given him a few. Travis Head as well. You know, he wasn't really in the game. Could have given him a few. Um, see where Nick Brown is on the settled bar after this highlight. Yeah, around the corner for four. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Let's see if we can tick on a bit. And yeah, like that, like that. Exactly like that. See if we can get to 50. He's on 45, so a six would do it. A four is okay as well. Now he's on 49. And that'll be the single that gets him to 50. Now Wesley's got a highlight as well. That'll be four runs. Nicely done. So 50's up for uh, both of the openers. <laughs> Couldn't really ask for much more, to be honest. And uh, let's see where we are after 40 overs. That'll give us a good idea of our, our run rate. Don't forget, we have lost the wicket in that time. So that would have slowed us down a bit. There we go, 40 overs. And we again, we're still at 3.5. So 110 overs times three is 330 at a point five. So about 400 you're looking at really. So at 3.5, you're looking up, you're looking at four bonus points in the batting. You know, like he's, and that's not so bad. But you do want to kick on and really go for all five batting points, but that's only 450 runs. And uh, if you go at a four run rate, you'll get to 440 over the 110 overs. So really not, if you play sensible, it's not that much of a challenge. You just got to play sensible. I guess playing sensible is the challenge, but oh. Not a fan of that. Um, let's. I'm going to ask Tom Wesley to play the aggressor here and see if Nick Brown will stick around. That's not out. We're going to actually lower Nick Brown and see if Wesley can kick on. Just like that. Brilliant stuff. Brown hopefully still hits fours. This being an example, I hope. No, that's not out. Padding that away, really. Yeah, there we go. That's still four runs in the bank. So it would be nice if Nick Brown keeps going. But Wesley really starts smacking some runs. That would be really good. Oh, close to the fielder, but no cigar. Wesley on strike on 45. Oh, that's got a lot of turn on it. Goldsworthy on the back of a hundred of his own. Oh, that looks like it was edged for four. Oh, no, it was played. It was played on 49. And this could be Tom Wesley's 50. And it is indeed. He's definitely going to get home. Single and a 50 comes up. So the top three all getting half centuries here. And that Somerset lead is, uh, is basically, basically gone now. 94 runs. We're going to just eat that up, hopefully. <laughs> I don't want to sound too like cocky about it, you know, but we are batting really well here. If we keep batting with, you know, a bit more aggression, what I was hope what I'm hoping is Nick Brown gets to 100 and then we kick on. But we've got this will be the last over, so potentially the last highlight here. We've made 206 already in 55 overs, so looking really good. Let's just calm Things down a touch just on Wesley's, just till we get that settled bar back up. And hopefully, Nick Brown gets to his 100 and then we tell him to kick on as well. That's the target, that's the uh, the tactic we're going with. Two, two, eight for one, and just doesn't look like slowing down at this point, just really doesn't. Oh, and Brown is gone. 89. Compressed comes to the crease. He's going to need to get settled and really try and help Tom Wesley out. Tom Wesley, obviously, 
already settled, already quite happy at the crease. Let actually, after this highlight, great work, calm down Tom Wesley as well and try. Look at that. That is what I like to see. The few dot balls as possible. Calm down Tom Wesley. One bonus point in the bank already. Worth mentioning, one bonus point obtained for crossing the 250 mark. Tom Wesley in the 90s. And Tom Press looking pretty good. Let's just up that a touch. Nice. Tom Wesley's getting close to his 100 here. Puts a 4. No, that'll be just a single. That should be enough for the 100. I'm not going to celebrate until I see it on the scorecard. But, yeah, great shot from Press. 100 up for Tom Wesley. Incredible stuff. And Press is hopefully going to kick on as well. Oh, that's turned a mile. That's turned an absolute mile. Oh, good smack. Yes. Let's get Tom Press to the end of that D on the settled bar. And then he'll start he'll start going as well. Yeah, good work. Really good work. What a shot. What a shot. Four runs, and yeah, we can start kicking on here. Hopefully, Tom Press will get a 50 as well. That'd be really nice. That would be so good. Oh, good bowling. 293, so we're only seven runs away from the next bowling point. Bowling, sorry, batting point, bonus point. I mean, you can get a 50. Come on, Prest. Come on, Prest. Yes, lovely. Pressed again. Three or five for two. Yeah, really good. On 49. Is this the highlight for 50 or is he going to get out? Oh, it's a short track. And that's 50 up for Tom Press. So the top four, all of them, all of them getting half centuries and Tom Wesley going, going even further and getting his century. Eight minutes left. 324 for two. Like we are really enjoying ourselves here. We've got 20 overs, 22 overs to try and get the bo bonus points that we're after. And let's, yeah, go a little bit more aggressive. Oh, that's gone. 66. 66. And there's one ball left in the session. And that's T right before. Right before session ends, Prest gets out. But look at that. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Already his best. His best for the club. 66. And now we, we you know, it falls on Travis Head to try and keep things going as well. That'll be four runs. That's a good start. Oh, that's uh, not a clean strike. Oh, what a catch. No, not a catch. It was a no ball. Was it a no ball? Yellow? Was that a no ball? It was. I didn't see the umpire give it. So I think it was a catch, but the no ball cancels it out. And we are, uh, well, we and Tom Wesley get away with one there. Then again, in the first innings, we, uh, oh my word, that's another one. Wesley's gotten two lives. The regulation catch. Oh my word. No, not out. But Wesley is clearly quite tired here. So let's calm him down a touch. Let's calm him down a touch. That's another no ball. Oh my word. 10 overs to try and get 36 runs. In an effort to try and grab the next bowling point, a uh, bonus point, sorry. Now it's uh, 32 runs because we've had a few overs of not very much. But, you know, Travis Head's still at the crease. 25 off three, two, okay, 23. We're not going to get it. That's okay. That's fine. Now we just focus on the game in hand, the game at hand. 
And that's trying to win this game from a, a really good position. See, if Travis Head can kick on, we'll get Wesley to kick on as well. Um, I don't want to risk Wesley getting out, but, you know, he's already got a good amount. The pitch is going to turn like crazy. Um, if it's not already... No, it is already turning, so... we Simon Harmer and Benkenstein are just going to bowl, like, unholy amounts of overs. Tom Wesley as well. Even Travis Head. We'll just bowl the spinners and try and spin Somerset out of this game. Um, we're technically playing four spinners, if I think of Tom Wesley and Travis Head as part-timers. Um, but Tom Wesley really bowled well. Um, from what I remember, so we might be, I might have been sleeping on a really, like, a really, uh, handy part-time bowler. Four runs, Travis Head is creeping up on a 50 here. And, uh, well, I say creeping up, but that's not really creeping up if you smack a reverse sweep for six. That's not really creeping up at all. Um, that's something else. And that'll be... I'll be tight, but no, he's home, and that's 150 for Tom Wesley. Look at that. Look at these scores, like lots of 50s. Really, that's that's incredible. Look at that. 50 did not bat. Next innings, 50 did not bat. Next innings, 63, not out. Okay, second innings, not so much. But then, Somerset, 50, not out. In the warm-up, a 60 and a 30, not out. The first game, 240s. The next game against Yorkshire, he didn't do well. But we somehow won the game. So I don't really know what to say. <laughs> We've played two games, two days, sorry. We're halfway through this game. We've got so much time ahead of us. That's what we're going for. We're going to try and just spin him out of the game. Let's see if Travis Head can get, get his 50. That would be awesome. And it looks like he will. Yes, indeed. No, that was Tom Wesley. Sorry. I'm 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 cheering early. And only about 10 seconds early, because there's the 50 up for Travis Head. And then follows it up with another 455. This is a this has been a scary good innings. Anyone looks at this innings, they're gonna be like, what the heck? How the heck are we gonna compete with these these batters? Oh, that's gone. Okay, Wesley's finally gone. Um, let's take a look at the partnerships, actually. Like, 96, 137, 101, 115. Oh, my word. If only that were opening stand could have got to 100. That would have been incredible. Dang. Dang. Okay. And now, yeah, let's just really try and speed things up. Rossington's at the crease. We know he's an aggressive player. Um. Yeah, it starts with a great four, a great shot. We'll try and get Travis Head settled and then also kicking on. Let's try and aim for like 600 um, before the end of the second. Oh, Travis Head's gone. We may not even get to 600. We may, we may not even get to 500. But we're going to try and bat as long as we can here and just get as many runs as possible. Great shot, Russington. Really good shot. Really happy with that. Four runs to water as well. And again, four runs swept really nicely. And don't forget, we've still got Wokesy to come in. We've still got Benkinson to come in. Who are, you know, by the game's own decisions, they are all-rounders. You know, they've got, they've got batting... In them, they've got runs in them, so yeah. Um, after this highlight, we'll try and press on again. Oh no, that's in the air, and it's taken. Rossington can only add 23, but it's still quite, quite a valuable 23, because you know if every player got 23 in your squad, you'd still get to, uh, still get 230 plus, you know, 253 or whatever. Shot, really good shot. And um, Wokesy on strike. 500 up. Well, look at that. We've made 500. Incredible batting. And only day three, session one. Like, really? 
We've actually batted. We've actually batted at a good pace for once. Like. A really good pace. Like usually I bat a lot slower than the opposition, but we've we've really done well today. Really kind of stepped up our game and said, you know what, we're gonna bat we're gonna bat aggressive more or less from the get-go. As soon as Bell Drummond and Brown were settled, we went a bit more attacking and it's really helped. Same for Walter, like now, like he's settled. So let's go a bit more aggressive. Let's try and uh, get the runs if they're on offer. We're definitely going to bat out the session. Like, that's a, that's a no-brainer. The lead is already pretty pretty mahusive as well. Oh, that's turned a mile. 235 lead. When you bat second is something else. Okay, let's, let's go. Try and, try and keep just rolling these runs off the bat. Look at that shot from Wokesy. Oh, my word. Um... 491 this uh <laughs> this partnership's already creeping up on a 50 partnership here so <laughs> it's looking good it's looking real good let's actually take a quick look at what the partnership is 46 46 so yeah a four will make it a 50 partnership and that's what we're going to get really well done that's 50 partnership between two of my middle order all rounders, and then unfortunately, Walter is gone on 43. Benkenstein comes in. The lead is 250. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just back to the end of the session and then reevaluate because you never know, like, Benkenstein could smack a few runs out of nowhere. Okay, nothing there. I thought that was like, is that a catch? It wasn't a catch. It was. It wasn't anything. Um, maybe one over left. Maybe two overs left. Great shot. Okay, this must be last over now. Five, five, four. We made five fifty, guys. Oh, that's turned a mile. Take a look at the other games. Um. Yorkshire, 375 all out, 211. So they've got a big, big lead. 374, wowzer. Um, Glamorgan, Bold Kent out really cheaply. That's good. That's, Glamorgan and Yorkshire are even in even better positions than me. And like I've got by far the biggest score. Obviously, they're, they're doing it over two innings, whereas I've only done it over one. Um, Warwickshire batting. Yeah, they'll beat Surrey. Yeah, they will. They're 16 for 1, 64 needed. They should beat them. They should get the win there, which is kind of kind of what we need. Let's see if Wokesy can get 50. Um, only needs 20 runs to do so. And I'm not going to give him too much time. That's a six. That helps. <laughs> Clearly, we had a chat. Clearly, we had a chat before you we went out to bat. That's 10 of them already. That's 10 of them already. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Make that another four. And Wokesy's up to 46. Uh, 40, well, yep, there's 50. There we go. Fastest 50. New user record. Wokesy gets it in 54 deliveries. The bowlers here. Look at that. 52 overs. 52 overs. 49 overs. That is just nuts. That is just nuts. Oh, my goodness. Um, lead is 301. 3 wickets in hand. Somerset have taken another new ball. Oh my goodness. Oh, Wokes he's gone. Okay, fine. Um 
Okay. I'm going to give Benkenstein the chance. Oh, no, he's okay. The chance to get a, get some runs here. But at the minute... Okay, that's good. No, okay, there we go. And that's when we'll declare. There's no point in Cook bowling. 5-9-8 for 9. Tom Wesley with a huge 1-6-7. Top 5 all getting 50s. And Wokesy getting a 50. And Walter getting a 43. Our number 9, Benkenstein, getting 27. Like, it's incredible. Look at the numbers here. 96, 233, 334, 449, 458, 491, 541, 589, 598. Like, it's crazy. We've got, we can bowl them out. We're going to go straight to the spin, honestly. We're going to go straight to the spin. And you may, we may as well go aggressive here. Like, we, we genuinely may as well go aggressive. Um, Because it just does not matter if they get. It doesn't matter if they get runs. Because. We will get wickets. And this could be the first. Benkenstein. On Miller. It's in the air. and it's, Oh, it's edged for four. Oh, no. Sorry. It wasn't a chance. Sorry. Here's the first chance. Benkenstein on Lamb and B. 19 for naught. Could it be 19 for one? That looks like it's hitting. That really looks like it's hitting. It's been given and that's the first wicket. Okay, now Tom Banton comes to the crease. Spin ball in front for offside. Okay. Going to bring the pace on because Tom Banton could do damage otherwise. And we'll keep the spin at one end. We try and get rid of Miller. Not working. They're just going to bat long if they can. Mm. Wokes to Banton. Here we go. Here's the chance. That's out. That's gone. Okay, front foot, leg side. Let's finish up the over. Bring on, sorry, not pressed. Wesley. Benkenstein to Jotin. 83 for two. That's edged, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Benkenstein gets another wicket. And from now on, I think it will just be spin. Like, there's no real need to, to do anything else here. Um, very defensive back for leg side, yeah. Tom Wesley can have a few overs. There's T on day three, but we're just going to carry on here. The pitch is turning. We've got lots of spinners who we can just rotate as we want. Brown's taking catches. Sharp turn. You do not want to be batting here. You just do not want to be batting. At the moment. And, uh, <laughs> and unfortunately for Somerset, they've got to try and get... Like more runs than seems possible. That's Rue gone. That's 99 for five. And the tactic is just working perfectly here. We're going aggressive. Yeah, we leaked a few runs here and there, but it just doesn't matter. It just does not matter. Um, let's bring back Simon Harmer in a second. As we just click through overs here, waiting for the highlights. Here we go. Waiting for, I, I like, I don't care. Like, I just don't care about if we concede runs. It does not matter. We hit so many runs in that first innings. We've got so many runs to play with. That's Will Smead gone. Harris comes in, doesn't like it on the offside. So Will bowl to the leg side. And he could be gone after two deliveries. Oh, and is he? He is. He's gone after three deliveries. Overton comes in. Three wickets to wrap this game up by an, in, by an innings. Might I add, Armour to Overton. Bold him. There we go. It's just clearly impossible to bat on this on this pitch. And it's their pitch. It's their pitch. Like, what do you want from me? It's your pitch. You know? <laughs> uh, Tra Tom Press can have a few overs. 
Yep, fine. And that's another wicket. Wokesy takes the catch. And now we're just looking for one. And it could be this. It could be it. It could be done. And it is. There we go. Jack Leach with a first baller. And we win by an unholy amount. Wokesy takes two catches on the bounce to wrap things up. And yeah, good effort from Miller, Goldsworthy. We couldn't get him out at all. We could not get him out at all. Oh, no, we did, actually. Must have got him out first innings. Let's hit continue. Um, yeah, we did get him out for 127. It was Leach who was not out in the first innings. Uh, but the second innings, yeah, we, we couldn't get him out. So clearly, Goldsworthy is not, not a bad player to have about. Age 25, Ryan Slow on left arm. What what are your averages looking like though? What are your averages looking like? Um, current year, averaging eighty two, really good, really good stuff. Um, bowling takes a few wickets, not bad. What about last year's averages? Thirty in the first class, sixty three in the one day, not bad, and some really good, really good bowling average. Goldsworthy might, you know, we might have to have a look at. Poaching. We might have a have to have a look at poaching, but look look at that. Up to second place. Grabbed a load of batting points. The maximum bowling points we could have grabbed as well. And uh, unfortunately, Somerset, we've just made things worse for them. That is a that's a big that's a big loss. And innings and one three four, like Glamorgan How was that match draw? 370, and they get Hampshire all out. So they lead by. They collapsed. They collapsed. Look at that. The last four or five wickets falling for not a lot of runs at all. 60 runs for the last four wickets. Yeah, that's. Well, it's not. It's not like. Not collapse, collapse, but it's. Well. That is a collapse, really. 178 all out. Yeah, that's a bit more of a collapse. But how was that a draw? So they led by 160. After the after both teams are bad in innings, they added 300 to that, which is 460. And, well, you know, they were giving it a go. They just ran out of time. Maybe there were there was an hour though there was a session lost. Two hundred runs in a session is doable. It's tough, but it's doable. But yeah, interesting stuff. Warwickshire get the win quite easily. They did lose five wickets on the way to getting the win, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you get the win. Like exactly what I was thinking. Like. Even if they somehow get 400 runs and we bowl them out and we're chasing 100 in no time at all, you know, it wouldn't matter because you've done the hard work by getting all the runs that you got. So, yeah. Next game against Kent, who are sitting in fifth. We're already, already looking a little bit better than last year in the way that the results are actually results rather than. Um, draws you know rather than drawing games was there a division one game in there there was actually look at that um hampshire glamorgan sussex durham so if we look at the table again hampshire go up to the they're back on top sussex got a win they haven't lost yet beat us as well didn't they they did beat us in the first game um glamorgan lost and they're the only other team to play Four games. So Sussex looked like the teams to beat. They did win the tournament, the whole the whole tournament last year. And we've got Kent up next, newly promoted. So yeah, there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bavuma's out injured, but that's actually not the worst because we were hoping he would get some form in the second team. So it's not great that he's injured either way, but I'm looking to get him some form if we can in the second team. Just because he wasn't he didn't he didn't hit the ground running as we might have hoped. And it does happen. But there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's episode.
just big runs. I think that might have to be the title. Big runs. What the top order do like what a top order. Top order runs. Something like that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.